Hello, beautiful friends and book lovers. I hope that you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Heather and here at Heather's Book Review, I tend to mainly read and review mysteries and thrillers, um, but the occasional historical fiction, fantasy, sci-fi, whatever, may be thrown into the mix. Um, but today I'm really excited to film this video uh, for The Inmate by Frieda McFadden because this is one of the few books of hers that I actually like. I have reviewed The Housemaid up here. That is one of the videos that people love to just tell me I'm wrong in. <laughs> but I've reviewed that one and then I've also reviewed One by One, which I will link up here as well. I didn't like it. This book I actually did like. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I have to film a video because I feel like all the time I'm kind of sitting here like bashing this author in a sense. So I was like, you know what? Let me film a review for a book that I actually enjoyed. This was an audiobook listen for me. Um, I will leave my referral link for Libro FM down below. And if you go through that link, you actually get a free audiobook. But yeah, I've actually canceled my Audible membership and I just simply listen to all my audiobooks through Libro FM now. Um, so yeah, if you go through that link, you get a free audiobook, which is sweet deal. But yeah, I listened to the audiobook for this. Um, it took me like five and a half hours, like 1.5 speed, which is, I actually, I love that it was only five and a half hours. Let me tell you that because everything was fresh in my head. When audiobooks are like 15 plus hours, I just like, honestly, if I'm not like taking notes, which most of the time I'm not if I'm listening to an audiobook because I'm either doing laundry, driving, the dishes, whatever. Like, I'm going to forget a lot of stuff. But if it's short and sweet, that is preferred. And this book was short and sweet. I'm going to be looking at my notes here. But basically, this book is about a woman named Brooke who uh, works at a men's maximum security prison. Um, and there, she sees an ex-boyfriend of hers, uh, Shane Nelson. They were high school sweet, sweethearts. Uh, he was the star quarterback, but now he's spending the rest of his life in prison for a series of grisly murders. Um, and Brooke's testimony is what put him in prison. The main issue I have with Frida's books is like sometimes the dialogue is just very like juvenile and cringy. And like, I still felt that in this book, but a lot less than her previous books for sure. What I thought was really fun was I was like flip-flopping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on what I thought the ending was gonna be. And then the ending was actually pretty surprising. Like I thought it was really good. Um, I thought the book was fast paced and I just, I enjoyed it. If you're looking for a quick thriller with a pretty good ending, I would recommend it. On my rating scale, I'm giving it an enjoyable read. Um, a star rating, I'd probably give it like four stars for when I end up reviewing it on, um, Goodreads. But yeah, I mean, it keeps you guessing. It's fun. And I don't think it's as outrageous as a lot of her other books. Like I didn't feel silly while I was reading it. I am going to get into a book chat part of the video for those of us who have read. So it will contain spoilers. Um, so if you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new bookish related video. But I am going to get chatting with spoilers now. You guys, I really thought it was Tim. I'm going to be honest with you. Like he's in love with her. She loves someone else. Like he's been waiting for her all this time. Like that kind of trope. Okay. Shane seemed to have everybody against him. Like that comment that the older prisoner made that was like that damn Nelson, like when he like broke his finger or whatever on purpose. I was like starting to suspect him. I'm like, maybe he is like, you know, crazy. You know what I mean? But like it always just went back to Tim. And then Brooke had this theory of those two working together. But I just I didn't buy that theory. Like I felt like Tim was honest when he said that him and Shane hated each other. Like I felt that and I didn't think that was like bullshit. Like I thought it was true. I did have a like what if moment at the end after we knew that Shane was batshit, like it could have been him and his mom, but I couldn't think of a motive for the mom and like why she would do such absurd things. Like I just couldn't. I had a moment like what if, but then I was like, no, that can't be it. Like the mom doesn't have a motive. 
Then the ending epilogue with the son killing Shane with the icicle. I didn't see that coming. And it leaves you with a thought of like, does he have some crazy in him? Just like his dad was crazy too. And like how he was like, I would do anything for my mom. That's like what Margie had said to Shane. Like I would do anything for Shane. Right? And now it's kind of like, would the son do anything for Brooke? You know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of like, does he have that crazy in him? You know, courtesy of Shane. So yeah, those are all of my thoughts containing spoilers. I thought it was fun. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed reading it. So let me know in the comments what you thought about it. If you liked it, what your favorite uh, books of hers are. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.